So it's 8.30 in the morning. It's still only in the 70s outside. And um, so I thought I'd give some quick updates on the garden. I'm not going to do as long of a video as last week. But I'll give some idea of kind of what's changed in the last week. Let's start with tomatoes. My yellow pear tomato plant has started oh, producing babies, which is exciting. But even more exciting oh, is that... Oh, let's get back there. You see that? I'm finally getting... Oh, get out of the way, Lee. Ah! I'm finally getting some tomatoes. Soon I'll be plucking those suckers and eating them. Nom, 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 nom. Probably in the next few days. And I topped the plants and they seem to be doing well still, which is really comforting. Um, yeah. Another new development is my bee balm. I planted this oh, probably three weeks ago in the garden from seeds. Um, and just look, it's beautiful flowers. They're doing really well. I had to cut the cleums back. They're just getting so massive. Look at those things. Just so massive. You could see the bee there. I don't know if you could see the bee. It's enjoying the, the cleums, but bee balm is named for helping bees out. So maybe we'll see. We'll see how they feel about it. I want to show you the flowers. They're yellow and they're delicate and they're so pretty and these are for my Christmas lima beans but what's even more exciting is that look here we have an actual pod lima bean pod growing oh my god guys a lima bean pod and I can see a little baby forming right there now I've, I've heard that the pods tend to have one in them but on occasion you'll get up to three um, and they form in sets of threes, and in fact, ah, oh, sure enough, there's another one there. And one day ago, maybe two days ago, the pod was only this big. Also, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but the lima bean has decided that it's going to attach itself to my <laughs> window shutters. We're going to replace those eventually, so I'm not that panicked about it. But I thought that was kind of funny. It's like, well, if you won't give me more trellis, I'm going to find some myself. My Jimmy and Ardello peppers are getting massive. I think I don't pick them until they turn red. And so I'm going to let them grow a little bit longer. But they are beautiful and huge. Yes. And my fish pepper plant has some baby peppers growing. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see these things. They've already kind of got a sign. I'm being variegated. A little bit of a stripey look to them. I think it's going to be really neat. I can't wait to see what they look like in the end. I found a fish pepper that's actually growing that you can see the stripes on. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. Come here, little guy. Look at that. You can already see the stripes forming right there on my fish pepper. It's going to be such a pretty pepper when the time comes. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. So before the day gets too hot, I'm going to go ahead and go and water my flowers. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how the garden's going. Uh, I mentioned last week that I was going through some stuff, and um, my dear friend, Elin, who i best friend since high school, passed away. If we're Facebook friends, you've seen more about that. So it's been hard, but um, you do what you can, and you, you carry on regardless. Anyway, if you like this video, you have any thoughts on recipes for fish peppers, um, please let me know. Please like or subscribe, and uh, otherwise I'll see you next time.